to everyone i just wanted to cover something that might help people that are picking locks that are uh difficult or whatever um if you take the back clip off and you shim you can shim as far as you want uh, in this case it's the it's the first two pins it's up to the first two pins that are only ones that are not left shimmed and all the rest of them are shimmed and uh if you're having a problem picking a lock, all right, this is just two pins that you've got to deal with now. You can knock it down to just one pin. It's all how and far you want to push the uh, the core shim. But it'll allow you to turn your lock into kind of like a progressive lock just by shimming. Oh, and I broke a, I broke a pick on this one already. That's the piece of it that fell out. Um, another little sparrows got wiped out doing this, but, um, yeah, I was having a hard time pick this, uh, Corbin, and I believe, uh, Gordon W. sent to me, and, uh, I couldn't get very far with it, and I want it, I want to take it out because it doesn't have a key, I want to make a key for it, and possibly turn it into a challenge lock. And I was shimming it and having a hard time even just shimming it, you know, getting it to go up uh, as far as it should. And that's when it, you can do a partial pick, you know, like you if you shim the last three cylinders, then you've only got the front two to deal with. And that's that's what I did. And I thought, you know, hey, this this might come in handy for somebody that's having a difficulty picking a lock. Because then if you can get the first two pins picked, you can just pull your shim back and make it three pins that you've got to pick. And you can just progress on until you get to where you get the feel for that lock. Because this one you have to pick off this ledge. And uh, there's probably some low cut pins, I believe, like around pin four or so. That uh, if you try to get to pin five, you're going to overset. But anyways, I just wanted to include that there for you. For anyone that uh, um, is having a problem picking a particular lock. It's not going to harm it any. You can take the shim back out and go like you were before. So just thought I'd throw that little one in there for you. It might come in handy. Thank you for watching and happy picking, everyone.